The court has taken action, banning the federal government from having any contact with social media companies for the purpose of censoring free speech. The Biden administration's response, again, was very bold. They are blatant. They're not even trying to hide it. They said that they're challenging this ruling because they're concerned it will limit their attempts to counter domestic extremism. Who gets to say what domestic extremism is? Well, we can look to them because we know what they say. President Biden declared MAGA Republicans and Trump supporters as the greatest threat to our democracy. Maybe he's referring to, maybe they're referring domestic extremists to the, quote, radical traditional Catholics that the FBI has deemed a threat. Why? Well, in part because they prefer traditional Latin mass. Maybe it's the parents who are going to Board of Education meetings and protesting against the overt sex sexualization of their kids that's happening in our schools or those who stand up and protest the irreversible mutilation of our kids in the name, name of gender-affirming care. These are the people that our government, the Biden administration, sees as domestic extremists. These are the people that they want to silence. The Biden administration also expressed that this court ruling would cause, quote, great harm. They're telling the truth. It would cause great harm to their power, to their ability to control us by controlling what information we are allowed to read, what we are exposed to, whose voices we are allowed to hear. What's dangerous about all this is they're directly and indirectly using the national security state and law enforcement, the propaganda media and big tech, all working together in this cabal to silence those who hold views they find objectionable and therefore who threaten their power. They try to intimidate us into silence, into self-censorship by using their smear attack and destroy tactics.